is up guys welcome back to part two of restoring brakes rotors and wheel wells of the kbp build part one you guys saw we prepped the new brakes we prepped the rotors front and back and we also deep cleaned the interior wheel wells we also prepped these like um the hub pieces that are really rusted out we're going to be repainting those as well just to clean this up a little bit more so i'm definitely excited and everything is ready to go we're going to be painting these black and I got it taped up nicely all the way around. We're gonna be painting even the corner pieces right here. Um, and everything is ready to go for overspray and painting. So you guys are probably thinking, Deontay, you cannot paint over rust. I know that. That is why we're gonna be using a special paint for that. So right here, we got the Rust-Oleum 2-in-1 Rust Reform and Reseal. So it does go over rust. You can paint onto rust as long as you clean the surface, which we did already. So that's gonna be for the front hub pieces. We got this black for the rotors, high heat primer with ceramic, high heat, ready for the brake calipers. We're gonna be painting the brake calipers a bright yellow, gonna go really well with the blue paint. Got two of them just in case we need more. Only got one gloss clear, also same duplicate color, and we're ready to go. We gotta choose between either white or black for the Brembos. I definitely think we're gonna do black for the yellow calipers. Gonna look really clean. So check it out guys, if you're new to this channel, you know what to do, subscribe down below. For some reason, people have a hard time subscribing, so I gotta keep reminding you guys. And drop a like on today's video. Everything's gonna be getting painted, and it's gonna be satisfying. We'll put it back on the car. It's gonna look amazing, so stay tuned to the end. Starting with the calipers, the rear ones aren't gonna require any uh, primer. So primer goes first onto the calipers and we're gonna do a tack coat and then we'll do a full coat. It is kind of warm outside, it's like 65 to 70. So I'm gonna give this like two to three minutes and then put another primer coat on there. But for you, it's gonna be different. So I'm gonna leave all the numbers out and just say I'm gonna do two coats of the primer, one light, one a little bit heavier, full coverage, sand it a little bit, and then we'll be ready for the paint. Forgot to mention, put your guys' mask on, guys. You did not want to be breathing all this, especially with everything we're painting today. All four of these are all ready for some yellow VHT. First coat is called a tack coat. We're just gonna tack it on there, get it nice and stuck to the primer. Definitely not a full coverage at all. You're still gonna see the primer very light just to tack it on.
know I only showed three, but we just went around and did another fourth coat on all these, and they're looking amazing. It's still wet, so that's why it's glossy right now. It's pretty bright, guys. Looks really good. This is our driver's side one, so sticker's gonna go like that. Put a little fold in the top right there like that. So when you're pulling it off, you have something to grab onto. We have our little tab, we can pull it off. We didn't pull off any paint, so that's a good sign. Time for the clear coat, guys. We're gonna be doing three coats. After the first coat, if it's not super glossy, don't worry. It's gonna start building up after each coat, so don't go too heavy on the coat. If it's not as glossy as you want, you don't wanna get runs, so build it up. Ready to go back on the car just pulled off all the masking look at that it worked out so well look at that over here we got the front fender liners sitting in the sun and getting a little bit more flexible so i can work with them we got the rears ready to go for paint the last paint step so we're going to be spraying these mainly focusing on everything you can see and like i promised guys we're going to be painting these as well with the same rust stuff so you got those exposed right there, and that's all I wanted to hit because that's the stuff that you could see to the wheel.
that's a wrap guys check it out it looks so much cleaner than before just look at that wheel well it's been two full days of drying allowed these calipers to dry for two days caliper looks really good we need to talk about this side right here though as you guys know it's been in an accident and it was hit really hard and it was hit like this directly onto the wheel and smashed the brakes so uh the bracket is what i figured out is bent so this brake is off of a different car and they're in really good condition as you guys can see but the bracket behind it is what got bent so what we're gonna have to do is pull this one off before we put any pads on you guys can see you guys see how off center it is right here the contact is so tight between there i can't even spin this with one hand so that explains the rivet that we have right here in the rotor we're gonna have to pull this caliper off and rebend the back uh, mounting uh, spot right there so hopefully it's easy to do just heat it up real quick and give it some bangs bang bang so i couldn't let you guys watch this far and not be able to see it with the wheel on so check it out oh yeah just cleaned it up real quick and that's gonna look good with the banana brembos ignore the huge gap up there but what do you guys think guys banana brembos on tai lung the blue tl let me know down in the comments and if you guys think it looks good too, drop a like. This whole project altogether, part one and two, took me a little bit over a week, so still not done. We got a lot of work on the other side, a lot of banging work, but uh, it came together, it transformed. If you guys like it, drop a like. That's a wrap, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Later.